So finally, there's a worthy competition for VS Code now in the market. JetBrains, a very popular company, has released a new tool called Fleet. Now in this tool, we're going to be taking a look at what this tool exactly is, but this tool pretty much covers all the use cases of VS Code in general and goes a step beyond. So let's take a look at what this fleet tool is and how you can get started with it. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. One of the biggest things you have to see is if you Google about fleet and if you try to download it, it says that fleet is free to use during the public preview. That means that fleet would would eventually be paid but that doesn't concern JetBrains a lot because this this contains a lot of interesting paid tools like PyCharm for example if you have heard PyCharm is a very popular tool and even I have used it at some point but VS Code coming out and the support for all the extensions and everything surely hit a lot of these tools right whether that's PHP Storm, JetBrains, or you know any other sort of tool, because VS Code is really well made, really well maintained by Microsoft. Fleet, on the other hand, is a new tool, a new text-based IDE editor, which is built from native. And taking a look at opinions from others, you would see that common opinion is that Fleet is still early, right? It consists of a lot of bugs. Plugins are very important in Fleet to enable its RAF. That is the common conclusion right now. Let's try out Fleet for once. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. I'm gonna press or select a language. Let's say I'm gonna start typing in TypeScript, right? Let's see how this works. You see the UI in itself is a little new. It's It consists of different tools and different sidebars. You can either have a terminal dock down here, for example, this is how it looks, or you can have, you know, if I split this into another window, you can have any other tool which can be docked down here. This is one of the things which is different from VS Code because VS Code currently does allow you to have terminal on either sides, but usually the terminal is at the bottom or on the right and the rest of the things are only files. But over here you can have Docker, for example. Well, my Docker instance is not running yet, so there's that. But you can have files, you can have, you know, different sort of layouts available and anything and everything you want. So anything you add here would be added as a sort of a tab system. So let me just go ahead and close this out real quick. It also asks me to enable smart mode. Let's go. Let's say if I want to construct a very simple function or very simple construct on in, inside of TypeScript, let's see how that works. I'm gonna create a function which says add numbers, num1, number, num2, number, return, num1 plus num2. So clearly right off the bat, obviously I can't see that this is like a good syntax highlighting, right? The function name is same, the argument, the variable names is same, this is same. Let's compare this with VS Code. So if we take a look at the same function inside VS Code, of course I have a custom theme on as well in VS Code, which can't be ignored. But if we just go back to, let's say the default theme, which I think is, this one or this one. I don't remember what exactly was the theme, but this dark plus is the default dark. Even in that, the, the highlighting is much better, right? This is of course my custom theme, so I can expect like even better highlighting in this. So that is number one. Number two is that if I try to implement this function myself inside VS Code, you see that a lot of, a lot of interesting autocomplete automatically starts happening in the stock VS Code as well. I know like I have tons of plugins installed, but this also happens in stock VS Code. So if I try to go forward with add, let's say num1 as number, you can see num2 as number. I start getting data types, I start getting the correct keywords, num1 plus num2. So you see that basically on hover works, what kind of parameter this is. None of the hover things working are working right now. Maybe this is because I've not saved the file. So let me just go ahead and save this as well. But yeah, nothing changes as such because of this. It does say that it detects the language properly. So that is not an issue, but I don't know like if it does not ship with the stock VS code, stock TypeScript instance by default. It also has this nice command K search area where you can just quickly go to any file, any folder, any, any sort of source code. So if I write add real quick, I can jump to this, which is, which is neat. I think that is neat because that is something which is missing from VS code in a way, because you have to open this finder and then find for the files. If you want to go anywhere, if you want to go for the file, then you can just press command P and then, you know, just write whatever name of the file you want. Then you jump into that file and then you search it. Maybe there's a shortcut I'm missing in VS Code, but that is the flow I know that you have to be in that file before you start 
to search or you have to just you know just press command shift f and then search for everything so fleet ships with a command k global panel which is pretty interesting it also has a native integration with git which also comes with vs code but with a plugin support so if you have git lens or you know i think i think it comes with a plugin support i'm not sure if vs code made this native but if you have git plugins installed inside of vs code then it will you will get that automatically and git lens actually supercharges a lot of your git experience as well showing the commit history and who did what commit and which line of commit was done by what user and so on so there's there's also this run icon which you can click and it will ask you rightly that you have to create a run command or you can just create a run configuration and for typescript i'm not sure like node not really sure what needs to go in here clearly it does not have a very nice support for node.js projects or typescript projects even in terms of run.json configuration but this button is neat in case you are building something which is almost like a REPL or almost like playing with within a playground like environment so that's awesome but again yeah i've, I've not really felt the need of having a run button um, in a big project because you would probably have a long running process in the terminal itself when you're working with something that is big enough one thing which i'm not able to find inside of fleet is the support for proper plugins or extensions you can see there is no support as such for installing plugins or let's say if i create a file which is i don't know let's just say this is script or you know queries.graphql id which is usually something which not every ide supports so for this if we want to have you know support for graphql syntax highlighting and even validation this needs to be added as a plugin but i'm not sure like inside of fleet how would we support something like this this is where you know something like vs code really shines because it has a huge ecosystem it has a huge ecosystem of such tools and little things where you can add support for graphql files you can add support for any sort of weird extension as well you would find a plugin for that plus the overall feel and look of vs code i mean for me migrating from something like this which looks like this and if i open a whole project you will see how organized and comfortable i am to something like this it's not gonna be a huge huge uh, advantage for me personally and a huge motivation as well because i still feel like fleet is pretty early in basically all the regards so yeah that is my opinion for now but let's see how this improves in the future but again like i said it's in beta right now so you can expect a lot more interesting updates in the coming months but i'm interested to know your opinion on what do you think about fleets the new tool in the market on the IDE front. Would you plan to use it or are you actually using it right now as well? Let me know in the comments below. That is all for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.